Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to implement server send events. And on the client side from scratch, on the backend, I would like to reuse the uh, mockend, which is the mocking backend for SPA, so sample or test application. So let's do this. Uh, what I already did, I uh, downloaded the mockend jar, so I would like to launch it. And how this works, it is basically a singleton, so whatever I send to mockend, it will remember that in, in memory and uh, it's just basically a CRUD operation, but all the CRUD operations are emitted via SSE at the same time. So um, the uh, let's start or let's listen to the SSE events, and this works with uh, curl minus N, which stands for uh, listen without buffering. So let's do this. So now it blocks, and what I can do is I would just like to create a new JSON entry, and this works with this command. So now um, what we see is that I received a named event. The name of the event is CRUD event with the ID, and this is the data, this is the payload. So and la let's um, intercept uh, or let's retrieve exactly this from JavaScript. So how to do that? So what we have to remember is the CRUD event. This is important. So um, let's do this. So what I did on the JavaScript um, part or on the front end part, just create an HTML page and a corresponding uh, JavaScript file, which is empty. So let's do this. Uh, const uh, source equals new event source. And what I will have to do is I have to pass the um, localhost. Uh, it was 8080 slash SSE. So and now I can already listen to on open. And let's see whether I will retrieve anything. And uh, this is going to be console log. And let's go with on open. And then E. And we see that the event already opened. So what I could do, I can also tell on message, on message, but this won't work. Um, it shouldn't fire because it only works for unnamed event and we already have a name for the event. So if I do this, this should be empty. So instead of doing that, what I will have to do is I have to pick the event name and just listen to this event. So how to do that? Source at event listener. And then I have to use the name. And then I uh, can just say, okay, with that event, I would like just to output that and say event received and this is the event so now it should work so it is already open so let's try to send another message so where is it here so go with that and what we see we got the event and the event was retrieved so um what we can also do of course we can just uh pick the data and uh, extract the JSON payload with the structuring of the object. But um, event is retrieved, connection is open, so it seems to work. So thank you for watching. See you at upcoming conferences, AirHacks Live, AirHacks TV, or even projects. So thank you and bye.